Hello wonderful people of the interwebs, I am Elvis Sun and thank you for joining me today for another Prison Architect tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the workshop. Uh, if you want a kind of more general understanding of prison labor, check out my prison labor video. Uh, it's a good overview on kind of everything, lets you know what you need to do in general to set these uh, rooms up. But let's dive into the workshop itself. The workshop is an interesting room. It's unlike many other rooms in your prison, it's not exactly necessary to have. Your prison can work perfectly fine without it, but the reason why you might want to add a workshop to your prison is that it allows you to create a little bit more money, which is always nice. Converting that uh, the sweat and tears of your prisoners into cold hard cash. Yes, that's what prisons are all about, of course. No. Anyway, I digress. Um, However, this is one of the, the pros of having a workshop in the prison, but there's de there's definitely a, a pretty big drawback to having a workshop, and that is the contraband. So the workshop allows your prisoners to have access to all of these different things. Having, um, like right here, metal detectors right outside of your workshop can help eliminate some of it, as well as having... Um, having them in other places around your prison to help uh, weed out these detectable items. However, the shank and the wood pickaxe are particularly problematic because they're not detectable by either the metal detectors or dogs. So the pickaxe in general is pretty um, um, problematic in your prison because you're going to be, need to be manually searching your prisoners in order to find it and otherwise your prisoners are just going to dig out of your prison and that's a bit of a problem but there's ways around that so now that we kind of have an understanding of why you might want to put a workshop in your prison or what prison why you might not let's talk about what you will need to put in place in order to get your workshop uh, up and running so the first thing you're going to need to do is research prison labor this will allow you to build the workshop as well as assign prisoners to the room. Then you're also going to need to build the workshop itself, obviously. And you're going to need a table, a workshop press, and a saw in order to get to uh, meet the room's requirements. Uh, the carpentry table is a little bit extra. I'll talk about that in a little bit here. Um, you're also going to need a delivery spot, which allows you to import the... Um, the metal plates that you're going to turn into license plates that will later be exported. And on that note, you're also going to need an export area for uh, so that your the goods that you are creating can be uh, you can sell them rather than you can still sell them manually like this, but that's a pain in the butt and you don't want to be doing that all the time. Um, other than that, you're also going to need to train your prisoners to work in the workshop. So there's two reform programs available to you so there's the workshop introductions or workshop safety introduction that's the first level that your prisoners can pass and that allows them to um, use the workshop press and the and the workshop saw to create license plates as well as planks from the, the logs then there's the second level that um, requires your prisoners to pass the safety introduction before they can start this one and that is the carpentry apprenticeship. This allows them to work on the carpenter's table to turn planks into furniture, which um, allows you to make a little bit extra money. They're, it's worth a little bit more than just raw planks. Just allows you to further refine your raw resources and generate more money, essentially. So that's really all you need to do in order to get your workshop up and running. Um, I like to have about equal number of workshop uh, the presses and the saws because that usually tends to work out and then I usually like to have a couple carpenter tables they're not entirely necessary they they, ha they increase the income a little bit but you'll be fine if you don't if you decide to opt out of the carpentry uh, apprenticeship kind of path here whoop where do we go um, so let's talk about kind of the the resources involved in the workshop. So there's two raw resources uh, that you're going to be processing in the workshop. That is the metal plates here with, and the logs. So if you have a, a um, what's it called? A, a lumber, 
what's it called? A forestry. If you have forestry industry going, this will aid your workshop immensely because you'll be furthering, um, you're going to be working from that ground up and increasing your profit as you go. So you'll be generating these logs from pretty cheap trees and then you're going to be processing those logs into planks and then you can either sell the, the you'll end up selling the extra planks, go away, or further refining them into uh, at the carpenter's table. <clears throat> and then similar sort of thing with the, the metal, the sheet metal. Uh, this sheet metal is first sawn into blank license plates and they're moved over here to the press and turned into license plates and then those are exported and you make a profit on that. And that's where all the money comes from for this. And I think that's about it. That's all you really need to know about uh, workshops in Prison Architect. Uh, just those general requirements that you need to set up before you start, you're able to have workers in the workshop. The reform programs that you're, you need your prisoners to pass. And then kind of just the, the floor resources through the workshop. The, the logs and the sheet metal. Refining those into more val valuable items and then exporting them for profit. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. If you liked it, give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. That's perfectly good fine too. Uh, subscribe for more of these videos. I try to put out one of these videos once a month at the beginning of the month. And if you subscribe, you'll get a not notification. And that's all I have for you. I'm going to stop talking now and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.